Hey, um, how's it going out there, all you Warframers? Um, I'm just making this video to share with you some of my tips on how to make sortie a little bit easier. Sometimes, um, I just wanted to point out that sometimes you're with a pretty good squad and they'll help you get through the first two parts of sortie, but then the last mission would be something like a spy or a rescue or a type of mission that you can easily do solo and um, as you'll see here I actually try to do a capture or actually it's a rescue I try to do it with with my squad and we fail miserably around twice I think I think I actually try three times and then um, I go in there by myself and then I complete the mission with ease. Uh, you want to keep in mind that for those type of missions you, you're going to want to use a Warframe that's better with being stealthy. I, I chose uh, Loki for this one and you'll notice that there's different Warframes that you can use for different types of missions. Uh, there's missions like defense or mobile defense. You have to protect a pod or a uh, computer terminal and uh, I think Frost is probably better for those defense missions because he can put up a big shield and you can protect it easier but as far as uh, stealthy missions like captures uh, rescues and spy missions you're gonna want to use a Warframe that's uh, that's more uh, stealthy like Loki or maybe Ash um, but you can also use any Warframe you want as long as you know you can get through it with ease and without you know screwing things up because as you can see here I'm going through this mission I'm pretty fast because Loki is a faster frame and uh, I don't get too many interruptions with the enemies because they don't really see me I'm using my cloaking ability and uh, you'll notice that I'm waiting here at the door for the other players to come and uh, they're having some difficult time trying to get rid of these enemies so I had to go back and help them a little bit okay and now they're here they're ready to use the elevator. But I'm gonna kind of speed through a little bit so you don't have to sit through the whole thing in agony. Yeah, you want to keep in mind that for these. Uh, rescue missions uh, you're gonna want to get in and get out as fast as possible because uh, once you get to the rescue target uh, you're gonna want to keep them alive and the best way to do that is just to get to your extraction point as fast as you can um, and always remember that once you actually find your rescue target you can give him your secondary firearm and that'll make it easier for him to stay alive and you won't have to worry too much and um, also too you don't have to worry about staying close to him because he will actually teleport next to you and it doesn't matter how fast you're speeding through the mission as long as you get to the end to the extraction point he'll actually teleport right next to you which is a good thing that they've made for this this Warframe because uh, you know I've, I've played other games where you're doing a rescue and you're over here you know dragging along some some AI that doesn't even want to keep up with you and uh, I just think that's so annoying when that happens so I'm really glad that here on, on Warframe they don't have it that way it'll the the rescue target will actually teleport right next to you so that's a good thing that's why you're gonna wanna speed through it cuz if you hang around trying to kill all the enemies 
uh, it would be pointless because that would just leave too much room for error and your rescue target will end up getting down or injured and then you'll have to take the time to uh, revive them and it just becomes a mess so it's better to rush your way out of the mission as fast as possible for for rescue missions uh, rule of thumb for rescue missions yeah another thing that I want to point out is uh, you have to be patient as you can see right here we failed the mission because the uh, rescue target was killed you only get so much time to rescue him and uh, if you you know trip any of the alarms they'll actually have a countdown for him to get killed so you know the countdown sequence you don't wanna trip the alarm for that and uh, you know you can play the same mission two or three times you know with your squad hopefully they they're good enough to get it done with you um, <coughs> there's times where I went through all three of the sortie missions and I really didn't have to lift a finger because I was doing the sortie with rank 20s and 25s and these guys have all the experience they know what they're doing they can take care of all of the extractions and rescues and captures with ease because they know what they know how to take care of that stuff but in this case I was actually playing with ranks that were lower than me so I was the one that had to do most of the work and uh, so I'm actually going into this same mission with them again uh, hoping that they would you know straighten their act up and get it done easier you know I'm guessing you know since they took a little bit of time in their ships they probably equipped some gear that would help them along the way uh, but once again this this uh, this one is another one that that we fail because the uh, rescue target was killed again so I'll try to fast forward through this for you guys so you don't have to so you don't have to uh, wait so long okay so this is basically where we fail the second attempt at the rescue mission we're actually trying to rescue this guy and we get him out of his holding cell but somewhere along the lines he gets murdered by the enemy um, yeah that's the guy that we're rescuing and uh, you know keep in mind these sortie enemies they're anywhere from 80 to 100 rank so they're very difficult to kill you need a weapon that's very strong and um, I, I'll talk about that more in another video that I'll post later um, I'll tell you how to form your weapons and which weapons are my favorite and the ones I use most yeah and you can see here that uh, yeah it's just way too difficult for everyone to to you know save this guy <coughs> uh, so 
I'm actually the one that's running straight for extraction there there it was and I was barely there at extraction but I didn't make it that's what everyone else was supposed to do but I'm guessing they they don't understand the concept of of just rushing through the rescue they probably don't realize that the rescue target is not is going to uh, teleport next to you if you rush through they were probably trying to kill all of the enemies which is a big no-no on rescue missions because <coughs> unless you have a powerful primary weapon or a power anything powerful a very good melee weapon you're not gonna kill all of them before they kill your rescue target because they're just too strong and uh, your rescue target won't be able to handle it and I think uh, <coughs> I think right here is when I actually decide to uh, separate myself from the squad and I run through the entire mission with ease because I'm using Loki and I can just go invisible um, if you notice I'm saving my energy until right now and I actually go invisible for the first time right now so that way I stay invisible for a longer time and uh, I'm just rushing straight towards my target so this way I can get through it quick and easy <clears throat> so you're not going to want to do these sorties if you're a low level you're not going to want them do, to do them unless you have a stealthy frame first because as you can see right here the enemy one shot at me all because I, I lost my cloaking and uh, as soon as he saw me I fucking died because uh, Loki's quite a uh, mushy frame he doesn't really have a whole lot of HP or uh, armor and then as far as the hacking goes uh, you can get a lot of practice on hacking um, first you'll get the hang of the uh, lower uh, level hacking terminals um, they're not as difficult as these ones are but I found that if you go around the outside first it's easier to see where the other lines connect and that's the way that I've always hacked um, but you can always use ciphers except for in sortie missions they do not allow them because sortie missions are supposed to be more difficult so so I'm guessing uh, if you were to be able to hack uh, with ciphers on sorties then it would be too easy but either way it's still um, easy enough to get good at hacking the terminals if you spend enough time on the game as I have um, you should by the time you're rank 5 or 6 mastery rank um, you should be pretty savvy when it comes to hacking those corpus terminals uh, everybody always complains that those are like the most difficult ones but as you can see right here it's it's really not difficult at all once you get the hang of it um, yeah so um, that's mostly all of the tips I have today that's how you make it easy you know always remember that you can use your squad at first to help you with the missions that you you know you can't solo so so you let your squad do most of that work for you because you know you want to be in a team and you want to use teamwork because that's always number one but if you don't uh, if you don't think that they're up for something that you know you can solo you can always just go in there and solo that and pull it off on your own and uh, that's it for today uh, please like and uh, subscribe it'll help me a lot I'm, I'm a new youtuber so I'll probably be making better videos as as I go along and uh, uh, thank you for watching I hope you found this uh, information uh, helpful and I hope you enjoyed my video peace out have a good day everybody